Hey guys, Woman 7 here. Today, we're playing... You guessed it, Amnesia The Dark Descent! Now, I gotta tell you, I've been excited to play this game for a very long time. I wanted to start playing it before today, but I waited for you guys. I went for the deadline that I set myself a few days ago on Christmas Day. So, let's get into it! Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if I am, I'm so excited! Let's do it! Woo! Oh, my new computer got here, and it's set up, so... Oh my god, guys, it's just, it's a good Christmas. We start the Amnesia playthrough, and... I'm gonna be 100% honest, I genuinely think I should be able to, um, play this game cross-platform. So I should be able to do this at the, on the other computer as well find a way to transfer the save. But anyway, enough talking, let's get into it. Woo! This is wine. Yeah, why not? I have a beer here as well. It's a very Merry Christmas. Oh, don't do that. Don't, don't be that game. There we go. Don't forget. Something's must be forgotten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shadow hunted me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. Go backwards! My name is... If I am Daniel. Backwards! Well, there you go. I'm actually playing this game in its lowest settings so that there's no lag. It's still quite a bit, but boy is this game fucking beautiful still. Now, I gotta tell you this uh, about the game. I did play it for like a few minutes, I didn't get anywhere important in the story. I did play it for a few minutes before, just to figure out the way the game works and um, how to do everything so I wouldn't look stupid playing the game, but uh, yeah. No! Oh, I have to make it through the door first! I have to! Yeah! So apparently an event stopped an event. Ta da! Da 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 da! Ooh, tinderbox. Oh god, I'm so drunk. Wait, I like how I, when I say that my character just goes all. Oh, it's Christmas! <laughs> oh, I lost my wife and family. Ah! Let's, let's get that fire blazing, guys. Uh, you know, this is just a hunch, but I don't think the chair will fit. Hold on. God, these controls are so fucking weird. Fine! Don't set the chair on fire then. Fuck you. Yeah! You know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna hide in this closet with this tinderbox, because the tinderbox is my friend. Uh. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down. You know. Hello, Mr. Tinderbox. You're looking mighty purdy today. Oh, you left me. Well fuck you too then. You know what they say about tinderboxes, they never really leave you. Unless you use them and abuse them. Ugh. I love the way this works. Like, this is such an annoying control. Alright. No, nothing in there. Ugh. 
I like how that's still open from the opening cinematic in which you can move around. Oh, cool, you can jump. Parkour! No! Leave me alone. Whatever you are. Too handsome to die. I'll take this with me. I'm having a, a major case of deja vu here. Yeah. Let's just, uh. No? You don't wanna, like, keep me safe? Alright. Fuck you too, then. I see how it is. I would have protected you in your time of need. You know what? This Narnia looking closet will do the trick. Except it has a shirt in it. No, what what be a jail cell? Oh, shit. I show my distaste for this place by slamming that door. See, all the girlfriends I have are like uh, are like front doors, cause I slam them. Uh, let's uh, let's let's continue on our merry way. We're doing hardcore parkour. <sighs> oh yeah, totally manly. I feel so sophisticated while drinking wine. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden. He feared she too would be punished. I think it just does that on every loading screen, that fucking thing where it acts like it's crashing. And making progress, okay. Close it down! What's so disconcerting about cockroaches? They're only creepy as fuck. Oh wait, no, they're not actually there. It's like my sanity being drained, so I start seeing things that aren't there. It's a very good game mechanic, I have to say. God, that's very and fucking creepy now. I love the ambient ambiance. Okay, how much oil do we have? Not enough. Let's use it to search around here. I'm aware it's like a teensy weensy bit laggy, but yeah, I think we can all live with that. Fuck off, I know what you're doing. Ah, I have a crate! I'm awesome! Oh hey, I like that. That's really awesome. Ah! Yeah, I just threw that. Ah! Okay, whose house this is? Okay, what can I throw into the fire? Ah, you sir. Would you like to be set aflame today? I think you would. Let's uh. Let's demonstrate my mastery of this game that I've just started playing and set you on fire. No? Okay, now we've got a um, flame hardened wood. Flame weakened wood. I really don't know if it would have hardened it or weakened it, but let's uh, just continue on our merry way. Oh, I don't know, guys. That note and that fucking. Seriously? You can move the notes. I mean, I feel like that would be a bad idea. Ah! I have to move the oil! It's cursed while on that table. Hold on. Wingardium Leviosa! Ah, whatever. 19th of August, 
1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Oh no! No! My bad guys. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing, a shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander awaits you and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. I was gonna take that oil there, it's a bit perky. I need like a, a bottle full of... Oh look, beer. Non-physical beer. Let's just take this. This this looks beery. Very beerish. This is actually drinking beer, I feel like this would be a good plan. A bag of beer, a bag of beer, everything's better than a bag of beer, because weed's not good. And I don't smoke suds. So everything's better than a bag of beer. Because who needs a bottle when you can have a bag? Yeah, this isn't creepy at all. Look, Bobby, I know how to go in circles! I'll just leave my beer there. Shit. Beer! Bah! I don't wanna... You know, actually this could work. They say knowledge is power, and you get knowledge from books, so... Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it, I am going to do it this way. I have my books. I'm sorted. There's gotta be something I missed over here. Because this is where the rose petals are leading. You know, I know, I know, I don't need knowledge, I don't need power, just... Aha! I knew it. I feel like you shouldn't have burnt the book. Burr! Don't worry, I'm not drunk, I'm just... Chilling out on Christmas Day. Door slammed shut behind him and he knew he'd never again sit the tail back to square. Never alone. That's all! I never alone. Fuck, I didn't even see that. Yo! Ugh, manly. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the. What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber death. <laughs> and it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. I feel like if I teabag enough that wall of skin will come down. It's tough and pliant. It can't be torn by... Yada yada yada. How do I open my notes? That's uh, not it. Is it? No, that's not it. Diaries? No. Mementos? Some sort of gas. I would say that. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? I thought it. How manly. Ah! I need to tell you what I feel! Oh wait, can I like throw doors? I can! You can slam doors! It's like, I don't care what you say. I'm going to slam you! Okay, that's enough messing around with doors. 
Oh, this is the best weapon ever. Just like in Rust. Yeah! I think I missed. Ah, uh. yeah, cockroaches. It actually bounced off them. Considering I just figured into my imagination, I feel like that shouldn't have happened. Ah! I love how it gives a nasty thump when it hits the ground. Woo! I want you to close again. I want other marauders to sit there and think, Oh, treasure! And then find nothing. Ah, shit! Oh, you can lean, that is the best. Yeah, oil. No, thank you. No, leave me alone. I need a hammer! Archives. Well, if you ask me, I'm nice, baby. Yeah. Let's check out the archive. The other children cheered him on. His name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The bo young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. He must have gone to his dad's whiskey stash. Here we go. Deserve to play the piano. History room is locked. Is there another entrance? Boom. There's nothing there. Oh, baby, slide it in and out, and in and out. Make sure to get it all the way in there. Okay, next. Oh, baby. The way that drawer just slides right inside of your oak frame. Ooh. This is the best defense ever. If it's good enough for Markma, it's good enough for me. Ah! It's, uh, it's just another chap. Nope. Okay. 16th of May. 1839. Not touching it! The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. I feel like I missed a note. Is anybody else getting that feeling? 
Sign up, mate. Just listen to that for a sec. Right? Look, can we drag that and then? You can just fucking slam it. What? That's such a realistic slamming. God, the stuff I say. Oh, I've got to turn that off. Real world. Oh baby! Uh oh! Ooh, well, it looks like it's lodged in there. Can't pull it out! I wanna like glitch them through. This is a way to. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Is that to open the other way at all? Get out of here. Like, my problem with this game is that the ambiance is great, right? And I love it. Oh, here we are. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brennenburg is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm House of Gerich. Gerich. Speaking makes my English good. English makes my speaking good. Hello. Yeah. Oh! It's chair hooping, people. You gotta grab it. Right, you gotta grab the chair. Run! Jump! Oh! It's two out of three! Can I do it the third time? Ah! Oh! Yeah! I think I got the ball stuck, guys. It's not quite in the hoop. I mean, it, it, it's nearly there, but. Eh! It's jammed, I, I like, can't even like wiggle it out. Yeah! Oh! Mm. Uh, yeah! Alright. The hell is it? Well, for fuck's sake, I'm just here. Ah! Get the fuck out of here! 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Ooh. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. <laughs> the men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. If I don't air, add like an air of weirdness to this episode, what the fuck's the point? One oil. Give me your oil. Ah! No oil. Uh, entrance hall. No, I don't want to go in the entrance hall. Pardon me.
Oh look! Da 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 No! Okay, well fuck you too then. I see how it is. Not wanting me to play the piano at all. Nah. I love you too, picture. Don't kill me. I'm just gonna like grab. Can I grab that? I grab that then. I feel all like Mark applied right now. The fuck? What's I got in the chair to grab? I don't wanna. No. No! No! Holy fuck, that nearly gave me a heart attack. It's the good book. What's happening? 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Well, I'm not doing it. It looks like it's not optional, it's very slowly edging towards it. I mean, so slowly that Barney Stinson and a car could overtake could overtake it. Ah! My parents always told me not to go towards strange lights, and yet here I am doing just that. Or maybe it was don't get in a car with strange men. Waiting for me, enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. You're gonna ask me to grab it, aren't you? You want to grab this giant ball atop the pedestal. Uh... I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Hey, somebody's playing my song on the piano. Not that I have a particular piano song. They're playing my piano. Ah, shit. Let's find a new way out of this area. Yeah, yeah, no fucking shit, Sherlock. Oh yeah, now that's more like it. I feel like more like I'm in a quest river. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned the magic of kicking ass. Yeah. Would you? I'm guessing there's a lever around here. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tempted to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. I am more than the fish. I am more than the man. Death will rise from the tide. I am Venom! I'm looking for like a lever or something, but... Hey! 
That's my lead, Princess Celestia. Give it back. This is my scroll. And I'm gonna read it! Oh, hello. This doesn't look like a suspicious bookcase at all. Ah, oh, fuck me. Dear Princess Celestia, Okay, you know what? Secure! Ugh. Nailed it. There has to be a lever in here somewhere. I just know there is. Oh, thank you! How oh, lovely! Give me some fucking oil so I can burn the world! You know what? Screw you. I'm doing it my way. Yeah! See? This is how you get your done in amnesia, okay? Uh, ah! Oh shit! Okay, that didn't work. Uh. I see tinder boxes. Ah. I didn't close that door. I did now, though. Woo! Nice spinny mouse. Mouse, mouse, spinny, spinny mouse, spinny, spinny mouse, it's a spinny, spinny mouse. Uh, uh. Fragile but not breakable by. How did I fail to notice that? I have to, like, do something really stupid now. Dear Princess Celestia, today I used to scroll as a sledgehammer. Ah! I said. <laughs> Apparently that just doesn't work. I knight this, uh, so plaster of the great wall of brokenness. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, 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 I think I deserve a victory sip. Continuing with my eyes closed, bad idea. Okay. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Dan. Another region rich with folklore. Alright. Alstadtatatata and Brennenberg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Astaldatatata, rich within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbour, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest clad mountaineers dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be. Mountains, not mountaineers. Albert. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travellers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale, but there are some motives to keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to run the grounds. 
Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition of still living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap saps, sack, burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Give me a sec. Oh shit, we're over time! My bad guys! Not you guys are complaining. Ah! Ah! You! Okay. No! Oh my god, give me a sec. I'm having trouble here. There we go. Okay, let me. Uh, I'll finish reading this note and then I'll um, continue on my merry way and get on with the next episode. A visit undone. Henrik Cornelius. Ah, Henrik and Cornelius. Henrik Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known er erudite, visited Alstatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat